Vayikra, Leviticus 4. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharael, saying, If a soul shall sin through ignorance against any of the commandments of Yahuwah, concerning things which ought not to be done, and shall do against any of them, if the priest that is anointed do sin according to the sin of the people, then let him bring for his sin, which he has sinned, a young bullock without blemish unto Yahuwah for a sin offering. And he shall bring at the bullock unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly before Yahuwah, and shall lay at his hand upon the bullock's head, and kill at the bullock before Yahuwah. And the priest that is anointed shall take of the bullock's blood and bring it to the tabernacle of the assembly. And the priest shall dip at his finger in the blood and sprinkle of the blood seven times before Yahuwah, before at the veil of the sanctuary. And the priest shall put some of the blood upon the horns of the altar of sweet incense before Yahuwah, which is in the tabernacle of the assembly and shall pour at all the blood of the bullock at the bottom of the altar of the burnt offering, which is at the door of the tabernacle of the assembly. And he shall take off from it at all the fat of the bullock for the sin offering, at the fat that covers the inwards, and at all the fat that is upon the inwards, and at the two kidneys, and at the fat that is upon them which is by the flanks, and at the call above the liver with the kidneys, it shall he take away. As it was taken off from the bullock of the sacrifice of peace offerings, and the priest shall burn them upon the altar of the burnt offering. And at the skin of the bullock, and at all his flesh with his head, and with his legs, and his inwards, and his dung. Even at the whole bullock shall he carry forth without the camp, unto a clean place where the ashes are poured out, and burn him on the wood with fire. Where the ashes are poured out shall he be burnt. And if the whole assembly of Yasharael sin through ignorance, and the thing be hid from the eyes of the assembly, and they have done somewhat against any of the commandments of Yahuwah, concerning things which should not be done, and are guilty. When the sin which they have sinned against it is known, then the assembly shall offer a young bullock for the sin, and bring him before the tabernacle of the assembly. And the elders of the assembly shall at lay their hands upon the head of the bullock before Yahuwah, and at the bullock shall be killed before Yahuwah. And the priest that is anointed shall bring of the bullock's blood to the tabernacle of the assembly. And the priest shall dip his finger in some of the blood and sprinkle it seven times before Yahuwah, at even before the veil. And he shall put some of the blood upon the horns of the altar, which is before Yahuwah that is in the tabernacle of at the assembly, and shall pour out all the blood at the bottom of the altar of the burnt offering, which is at the door of the tabernacle of the assembly. And he shall take at all his fat from him and burn it upon the altar. And he shall do with the bullock as he did with the bullock for a sin offering. So shall he do with this. And the priest shall make an atonement for them, and it shall be forgiven them. And he shall carry forth at the bullock without the camp, and burn him as he burned at the first bullock. It is a sin offering for the assembly. When a ruler has sinned, and done somewhat through ignorance against any of the commandments of Yahuwah Elohayu, concerning things which should not be done, and is guilty, or if his sin, wherein he has sinned, Come to his knowledge, he shall bring at his offering a kid of the goats, a male without blemish. 
and he shall lay his hand upon the head of the goat and kill it in the place where they kill at the burnt offering before Yahuwah. It is a sin offering. And the priest shall take of the blood of the sin offering with his finger and put it upon the horns of the altar of burnt offering and shall pour out at his blood at the bottom of the altar of burnt offering. And he shall burn at all his fat upon the altar as the fat of the sacrifice of peace offerings. And the priest shall make an atonement for him as concerning his sin. And it shall be forgiven him. And if any one of the com common people sin through ignorance, while he does somewhat against any of the commandments of Yahuwah, concerning things which ought not to be done, and be guilty, or if his sin, which he has sinned, come to his knowledge, then he shall bring his offering, a kid of the goats, a female without blemish, for his sin which he has sinned. And he shall lay at his hand upon the head of the sin offering, and slay at the sin offering in the place of the burnt offering. And the priest shall take of the blood thereof with his finger, and put it upon the horns of the altar of burnt offering, and shall pour out at all the blood thereof at the bottom of the altar. And he shall take away at all the fat thereof, as the fat is taken away from off the sacrifice of peace offerings. And the priest shall burn it upon the altar for a sweet savor unto Yahuwah. And the priest shall make an atonement for him. And it shall be forgiven him. And if he bring a lamb for a sin offering, he shall bring it a female without blemish. And he shall lay at his hand upon the head of the sin offering and slay it for a sin offering in the place where they kill at the burnt offering. And the priest shall take of the blood of the sin offering with his finger and put it upon the horns of the altar of burnt offering and shall pour out at all the blood thereof at the bottom of the altar. And he shall take away at all the fat thereof, as the fat of the lamb is taken away from the sacrifice of the peace offerings. And the priest shall burn them upon the altar, according to the offerings made by fire unto Yahuwah. And the priests shall, rather, and the priest shall make an atonement for his sin that he has committed, and it shall be forgiven him.